Hey everyone, welcome back to the Long Dark, our 500 days challenge. We're here in the Ash Canyon Gold Mine, starting episode 2. Um, we last left off coming over here from Foreman's Retreat. We made it down here just barely. Um, we do have a little bit of energy left, and we also have a rabbit on us as well that we have to start cooking up. Um, hey, more matches. Alright, not bad. Yeah, we're going to want to stockpile a lot of those. Um, can't let them go to waste. Some food as well, always good. Um, we'll pick up the book. I'll probably end up dropping a lot of this stuff anyway. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take off our boots as well. Don't want to be wearing those. Whoops. There we go. We'll take off the socks as well. I do that because I don't want to get our feet, our clothing wet down there with this cold water. Um, it's not warm in here though. That's a thing. Um, definitely have to keep an eye on that. All the risks are in check, but oh, it's just barely under 32 degrees. So we'll have to keep picking up more coal. I think I'll start a fire um, back where the technical backpack in the bed is. Um, let's hurry up and get over this, this ice here so we can put our clothes back on. But yeah, um, overall, yesterday it was not a bad journey here. Um, I would say the rope climb was a little bit challenging since we lost a lot of our energy. But it does seem fine. It is coming up to midnight here, so we should be able to sleep here pretty soon. Um, let's just get over this water first so we can put our clothes back on here. Um, but yeah, so the main goal for this episode is going to be to grab the technical backpack, do all that good stuff. And then eventually we're going to want to, I think, head out the back entrance here of the mine. And then we got to climb up that rope climb again. And then we'll be back where we were. And ultimately make it back to Foreman's Retreat. And then go down to Angler's Den. It sounds like a grocery list of items. But um, it'll all come together here as we keep uh, as we keep venturing onward. So here we are guys. A tactical backpack. I'll take those crampons. Definitely don't want to lose them. Excellent. Take that. Alright. Let's go ahead and put our stuff back on. Get us nice and warm. Whoops. Not that one. There we go. I'm going to be pretty tempted to drop this. Probably put it here as well. Uh, let's go ahead and replace this torch because if it goes out, that's going to be very unfortunate. Ooh, got it just barely. Just barely. All right, take the lamp fuel. I'm going to take all the coal. Put that there. Sardines, great. Tinder plug, even better. All right, great. We can refuel our lantern sometime soon. Excellent. I'll tear that down for a stick. Um, There's the bed. Nice. We can obviously use that. Uh, anything over here? Nope. Go ahead and check this firewood bin, and then we'll probably go to sleep there. I'll pass on the charcoal. All right, so um, bedtime we go. Definitely, definitely bedtime. Probably should cook these two rabbits, though, first while we have the torch going. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we have lamp oil to start our fire. That's not bad. But I think I'm going to go ahead and use the stick. We're in no rush, so there's really no reason to, to use that accelerant. Save it for when we need it. There's a failed attempt. Uh, let's do it again. That's why we light fires with a torch, as always. Um, but yeah, guys, we're in it for the long haul. We're in it for the long haul. I mean, you know, day... What are we? I, I believe we're approaching day two already. Um, two out of 500, so... Um, should be exciting. Go ahead and put that out. A decent torch will keep it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on a reclaimed... And I'm going to go ahead and put on a cedar. Alright, now while that's going, we got to tear down some of that. Now we're going to be losing quite a bit of condition over this, but... It's for food, so I don't have a problem with it. 16 minutes, great. Um, I'll even just do that. There we go, hypothermia risk healed. Let's go ahead and eat that. Is this one done? Almost. Come on there. There we go. 38 minutes. Fast forward that. That's good. We'll eat that. And let's put the other rabbit on. Nice. One minute. Sure. Eat that up. Awesome. Um, six minutes. How many do we have on that? 31. That's good. And then we'll fast forward... 30 minutes here with that. I think I'm actually going to do something more productive in the meantime. We'll tear that down. Great. Alright. 
13, 26. Um, not bad. Can we do anything? Any crafting? Yes, we can. Let's do it. All right, great. Now let's go ahead and eat that. Awesome. So now we don't have to uh, to spend our food that we just found um, eating tonight. So we can use that food for tomorrow while we're on the road, which is great. All right. So let's go ahead and put in... I'm going to get a little risky. We'll put in eight hours. We want to maximize our condition recovery. So sleeping long, longer periods of time is going to help with that. Nice, look at that, guys. Very good. All right, let's drink up, and then we'll probably put in... How much? Yeah, probably another five hours, maybe. Yeah, five hours is good. Let's do that. All right, and by the time we wake up, it should be... Yeah, it's it's pretty late in the day, so this would be a good time to get going. Um, I'll tear that down when we have the time. Um, I do want to refuel this with all of the lamp fuel we have. Awesome. Um, and let's go ahead and use it. So we're going to try to make our way towards Angler's Den. It's an excellent time to get going right now. Um, pretty good. I'm going to probably... Oh, I would love to take the um, pelts, you know? Um, I think I'm probably going to have to pass on them, unfortunately. We'll find more rabbits. We'll probably find plenty of rabbits along the way, so there's no need to uh, to be taking that stuff. How's our... What are we looking at for our risk right now? Why is there an exclamation point? Oh, that's because of the parasites. Okay, great. All right, we're looking good, guys. Looking good. Um, So I am going to go out this back way. Um, It's a pretty... See, it's a safe way to go, and I think it's also the easier way to go because that rope climb going back up to the cave is a long rope climb. It is quite a long rope climb. So at least with this rope climb, it's a little bit shorter. Um, and I think there's a chance for more loot along the way as well. So that's good. But we'll have to get out there soon and investigate. Um, I don't believe there's too much to be had in this section of the of the mine. I'll take a coal though. I'm going to try to carry as much coal on us as we can because that's going to be pretty crucial. If we decide to summit Timberwolf Mountain, which we might do, we might do. It's a little bit iffy without a bedroll, but, you know, it's possible. It is possible. We did it on our Dead Man Run, so I have no doubt we can do it here. Wow, guys, look at that. One temperature bar down. That's crazy. All right, two down. But still, um, pretty, pretty rare. Um, let's go ahead and make our way down. There's some rose hips to greet us. Very nice. Not the mini mini rose hips, but they're rose hips. Great. Gonna try to walk since we have a little bit of a rope climb there. Yep. That would be excellent to grab if we had a hacksaw, but we don't, unfortunately. So we'll have to pass up that. Alright, let's get up this rope. Oh wait, hold on. False alarm, guys. One second. One second. There we go. All right. That's more like it. Nice. Look at us get up that, that rope. That's awesome. Now, the crampons, I think I'm just going to wear constantly. Um, there's enough materials in the world where we can repair the crampons. And uh, in our Hardcore Deadman run, we even found crampons in the plain atop Timberwolf Mountain. So, I'm not too worried about these crampons running out. I'm sure we could always get more. Hey, a fire log is um, interesting. Rarely get one of those. But yeah, and just like that, we're back up here um, on the same level as our cave. So we're going to want to go swing by the cave again and pick up our wolf pelt because that's going to be pretty important as we progress along this journey. We're going to want to make a wolf skin coat probably sometime soon in the near future. I know we don't even have a bow yet, but... We can keep finding wolf carcasses around the map. We'll be able to grab some pelts, which is great. It's not bad out here at all. 26 degrees. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to keep hugging this wall. Nice and warm here. Um, Let's just take a big peek at the inventory just to make sure. Yeah, okay. I didn't have the hacksaw. I feel like an idiot if I did. Alas, I did not. Um, But yeah. Hey, Ash Canyon, you know. 
It's a very nice region when it's quiet like this. Very nice. There's like, there's zero wind right now. Awesome. Look at that, huh? That's pretty cool. Take a picture for our, our scrapbook. Probably compile one at the end of our 500 days, if we live that long. Should be pretty cool. Yeah, look at that, huh? Awesome. Don't have anything to harvest that. Um, did we drop anything atop this rope? I can't remember. Um, I definitely probably would have if we were overweight. Um, we're here anyway. We can do a quick check, probably. Um, oh, we got a torch. I'll go ahead and probably tear that down in the cave over here. All right, 18 degrees. I think we're rocking... Yeah, we're rocking a t-shirt. Yikes. Well, I mean... It's better than nothing, I suppose, but yikes, those arms are probably getting very cold. So I think we'll dip into the cave here real quick. Oh, here comes the snow. Alright. Let's go ahead and get in here. Yeah, we left a lot of stuff here for ourselves, and I think we're going to want to take most of it as well. Yeah, that shouldn't get us too overweight, right? Yeah, 67 pounds. No reason to sweat it. All right, and 11% cured. That's awesome as well. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to probably tear down a lot of these torches here. Um, I do want to see how much we're gaining in here, though. 41 degrees. It's not too bad. Um, since it's late in the day, I don't think I'm going to bother heating up any teas. I probably should, though. But I think we're at the point right now where we can just kind of start a fire along the way. Shouldn't be too much of, a, of an issue. All right, and we'll tear down this last one as well. Maybe we want to spend 15 minutes as well doing some rose hit prep. Yeah, that's good. Um, ooh, don't want to do that much. Let's do 30 minutes. Get us nice and warm again. Great. Go ahead and take that. And let's go ahead and move while the weather is still calm. Because it does look like some weather is going to be coming in pretty soon. So we're going to want to take this opportunity to make it back to... Probably not going to go right to Foreman's Retreat, but I think we're going to go in that general direction and then go down that sharp hill that we saw last episode um, down to the Angler's Den. So it's a bit of a hike, but it should be okay. Should be fine. 26 in the windshade still. So we're still rocking a good amount here. Make sure there's no loot up here. Sometimes there likes to be a container somewhere over here. Doesn't look like it today. Now, it was 41 degrees in that cave that we were just in. I know in here classifies as a cave as well. How much are we looking at in here? 40. Okay, so it's about the same. About the same difference. Cool. Uh, four rocks. Go ahead and get one more. All right. Yeah, we're going to want to get down to Angler's Den ASAP. Definitely before any blizzard kicks up. Because that would not be preferred. Risk of intentional parasites has healed. That's good. That's one less worry. It's always a bit iffy when you take a parasite risk, you know? Um, sometimes you can get extremely lucky and have a 20% risk and not even get it. Or you can have a 1% risk. And uh, what do you know? You have a food, <laughs> a uh, parasite in you. So that's not great. Grab those rose hips. I don't think there's any up there. All right. Now, is this the jaw overlook? I don't... I think it, it is. It might be. I don't even know anymore. Angler's Den. That's the mission. No, none of these side quests. It's Angler's Den. Gotta push for it. Wow. Very, very uh, tedious work up here. It's honestly why Ash Canyon is one of my favorite regions in the game, you know? I mean, it's just so intertwined. It's so intertwined. Look at the wolves down there. I love how there's just multiple levels. It's almost like you want to explore it all. It's very cool. Very cool indeed. Let's not fall off. I've never fallen off, and I don't want to make this run my first. Thought that was a deer carcass. Just a uh, piece of the tree root, I guess. There's our little spot in there. Not going to be using it today, though. I think we're just going to keep pushing. All right, let's go. Try not to sprint on the higher 
elevations here because if I make one misstep, it's uh, it's GG's. But I think I'm going to sprint this part. We'll take this back. Awesome. Is this the jaw overlook? No, it's not. I don't even know where it is. All right. Um, yes, that's where we want to go right there. And we want to work our way down that way. So we're almost there. Uh, I'm really tempted to maybe start a fire. Um, I think a fire could be a, a beneficial idea for us. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'll even put it right here. Hopefully we can get some wind shade on multiple directions. Um, yep. Ten sticks works. I don't want to make more tinder as well. I'm pretty sure the um, angler's den is going to have some tinder we can tear up. So that shouldn't be a problem. Come on, fire. 60%. I mean, those are decent odds. Not the greatest, but they're okay. We got it this time. That's good. I think I'll torch walk as well later on. Um, let's go ahead and put a coal on because we can. Um, and I think... How much water do we have? Plenty is the answer. All right, great. Go ahead and make one of those. I'm going to go ahead and put on another rose hip as well. And I think I'm going to drop the teas that we have in our inventory too. Um, yep, there we go. Great. All right, that'll bring us back up to three teas. So that's all good. Looking nice. Let's go ahead and not waste any time. Put three minutes on that. Or 15 minutes, rather. All right, these two are good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of water for ourselves. Just because those teas do take water to make. So we'll replenish the water we lost here. I'll put this over here. Jiggle that, jiggle that, and we'll do that. Great. All right, warm up nicely. I like to see it. All right, um, 30 minutes for those. Do that in another 19 minutes. That'll get us up to, yeah, great. All right. Oh, wind is starting to blow. Let's go ahead and take two torches off. Good. All right. Take both of those, and then we'll take those, and let's go. All right, up to full temperature. What are we at in the windshade? 28 degrees. Not quite 32 degrees, but, you know, you're just shy of it. So I'll classify this as a warm day, especially being in a t-shirt, huh? That is pretty good. Now, one thing I don't really understand is why my character has long sleeve shirt. Like, on while holding the torch, see on the right side? His sleeve is, you know, the long sleeve shirt. Oh my gosh. Miss Steel's matches. Wow. All right. I didn't know matches could spawn right there. Interesting. Well, that's good. That is really good. All right. So matches isn't really something we have to worry about right now. Especially... Whoa. Don't do that, please. Especially since uh, we're heading towards Angler's Den. I think there's two packs of matches that can spawn. It's a possibility, so... Have to keep an eye out for those but yeah not sure why my character shows that he's wearing long sleeve even though i'm clearly wearing you know short sleeve um there's also rabbits here oh my gosh we are a hundred percent gonna take these there is no rush right now awesome can i pick you up thank you i know there's a glitch sometimes where I don't know if it's still in the game, but there is a glitch sometimes where you go to pick up the rabbit and you won't be able to pick them up. Very weird, but all right, go ahead and drop that. Now, what I'm actually going to do is replace the torch. Let's step over here. We can drop this. Let's equip the rock. Nice. Good throw. All right. As always, bunnies, thank you for the sacrifice. All right. Now we should probably find a place to cook these. We do have plenty of energy to work with, so it's not the end of the world here. Um, I think I, yeah, I think I'm going to stop right here in this little nook and cook them. It's a nice spot here, huh? Um, yeah, let, let's put the fire like right here. That's good. I'm going to make more tinder as well while we whip these rabbits, I think. And I think I'm going to fetch on the 
fir wood, just because it's heavy. It's an hour and a half of fire, so that's good as well. Oh, come on now. We have to start it. Uh, I'm actually going to use the book. I'm going to use the book. Better odds. Since we're kind of lacking on our Tinder game. Come on, 80%. Cross the fingers. Nice, guys, we got it. Awesome. Uh, that torch can go away. Gonna go ahead and chuck that on. Yes, good. Now, it's a little tough because we have to tear down all this meat with just our hands. Um, but I guess it's better than nothing, right? Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Before anything, anything else, rather, I'm gonna go ahead and put down our T's. So in case it is a blizzard, we can travel relatively safely. Nice. All right. Um, nine minutes, 27 on that. Don't really want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and eat all the meat that we can get. Uh, 25, yep. 27 works perfectly. All right. Just wanted to make sure those weren't burning. All right, now we're not losing any condition points at all, so that's good. And it's 37 degrees. That's even better. Point three. We'll take everything. Ooh, look at this, guys. Got some clearing here. Not bad. What I might do, too, is maybe take the rabbit pelts if we can get away with it. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, the fire log is very tempting to throw on. But I think I'll just throw on a cedar in the meantime. Alright, so while we're waiting for that 12 minutes of rabbit to finish, let's go ahead and tear down some torches. Awesome. Um, and I think I'm going to take the pelts as well. A bit of a risky business, but I think we can do it. And there's some more sticks for us. That's great. Drink a little bit of that. Two minutes on that. Perfect. Alright, so while we're here warming up, I'm going to go ahead and take one of these pelts off for 40 minutes. Great. Um, Alright, great. Let's go ahead and do the other one for 40 minutes. Whoops. There we go. Awesome, guys. Wind seems pretty tranquil right now. Doesn't seem like there's any reason to, to be rushing. Um, let's go ahead and put a reclaimed on. I'm going to go ahead and break down these torches. Awesome. And there we are. Get to move on before we get tired. Um, we should be able to make it from here. I know exactly where we got to go. Oh, it shouldn't be a problem. Look at this, guys. The wind is just so... It's so calm. Look at this. Another photo for our scrapbook. But this is this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. But this beginning game interloper weather will not last. Only going to get worse from here. So we got to we gotta plan it out rather uh, strategically. But I think by the point where the weather gets bad, I believe that's probably three to four weeks in the run. By then, I'm really hoping to have our bow and have plenty of pelts that we can make some some jackets and some pants with. Um, I think that's going to be what we want to do. Oh, whoops. Hold on a minute. Just trying to orient myself. Yeah, okay, wrong way. Whoops, wrong way. It's like that sometimes, you know? It's like that sometimes. You get completely disoriented. Um, that's right, because that's where the... Yeah, that's where the rabbits were. I understand. And that's where we found the matches. Gotcha. Alright. A little bit of a, a detour. We, we were just taking the scenic route, right? That's all. Just the scenic route. I, I wanted to stop and look out, but I'm kind of scared. Oh, stop getting caught, please. 
Yeah, good thing I caught that er like early because I, I was gonna I was about to trek all the way back to the mine. Good thing we didn't. All right, we'll leave those there. Those can guard the fort, and we will press on. Now the next challenge here coming up is going to be the bear. The bear is going to be a bit of a pain, a bit of a pain, but you know. There's going to be ways around it, as always, so. Just got to play it strategically. I think right now, where's the windshade? Going to be over this side, yep. Going to drink one of our many teas. Get nice and warm. This should last us a little bit. 21 degrees, so not horrible. Not bad, definitely have seen worse. And yes, here we are, great. Go ahead and replace this torch. I'll start using up the bad ones. Nice. Alright, we have no meat on us whatsoever. How's our food situation? Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty solid. That is a night worth of food and then some. Plus we have the food in Angler's Den that we can access. And uh, we're going to be set up pretty nicely going into uh, the third day of the challenge, I believe. A 3 out of 500. Man, I, I still can't believe we're doing this. I mean, I've wanted to do it for so long now, um, but I've never really had the patience to do it. But coming off our hardcore dead man run, um, I'm really just in the mood for a super long and relaxed run. And this is definitely going to be that. So, yeah, it's really awesome. I just really hope the bear's not here because that will elevate my stress level. <laughs> if he's in his cave sleeping, I might, you know, we might have to figure something out. Um, doesn't appear to be down there. He'll be sleeping. If he's sleeping, we're going to crouch this through. I'm just trying to be very careful here. It's nighttime. Can't really see. So he... Definitely could be here. Yeah, I gotta be super careful, right? This is how the runs end right here. 500 days in Interloper, you know? It could be, uh... It can be 500 days, but if you're careless like this... It could be less than 500 days. All right, guys. Oh, shoot. He's here. He's here somewhere. I do not like those tracks, Sam. I am. Um, all right, go ahead and do a torch replacement real quick. All right, I'm not even remotely sure where he is. Let's just take a minute and listen. I don't hear him. I do not hear him. So chances are... He's out there somewhere. We're good in that direction. Alright, I'm gonna say we're good. Um, yeah, chances are he's either out here somewhere, or he was back over there sleeping and we just couldn't see him because it was dark. That is definitely a possibility. All right, guys, just breaking out this little crouch walk here. Just to make sure he's not here. I think we're good. We're good. Go ahead and move down. Awesome, guys. That's how it's done. Yeah, super, super, uh, super hairy. Still wondering where he was. I don't know. Anyway, that's behind us now. Let's go ahead and head down here. It's a little shortcut. 
Um, I'm not sure if this was intended to be a shortcut in the game, but nonetheless it is, and we're going to use it. So, oh, that got my stress level up. For sure. Um, all right, though. Time to go into more familiar territory and safer. All right. Head down. Come on. Um, this is Sprain Central right here. But we got some bandages, and we're about to rest anyway. So if we get a sprain, it's no big deal. We also have to open that memento cache that we found. If you guys recall last episode, on the mining... On one of the mining huts, we found a... Um... We found a memento, and it's key. So we gotta get that. Alright. We got a sprained ankle, I believe it is. We can't run, so that's a little bit of a problem. But we do have a torch, so I, I do feel a little bit better about the situation. We're gonna let this... Broken ankle just kind of ride through. Um, we're going to be sleeping anyway, and sleeping's going to recover this broken ankle. So, I don't have a problem. Um, I will have a problem, though, if there's a wolf over here. Which I believe there shouldn't be. There shouldn't be. We'll have to go ahead and see, though. Alright, I'd love to go ahead and pick up some cattails, but since we can't sprint, I think I'm going to say no to that. Um, we'll just pick up the cattails that are in our path, because I know some wolves like to patrol that area over there. So I don't want I don't really want to go back towards that way. So we'll stick to, uh, we'll stick to the route here. Yeah, the angler's den is just right over here. Not bad, guys, not bad. We made some decent time here. Made some decent time. Now, this is like the good sleep schedule you want to be on in the long dark, you know? You want to sleep through a good part of the day and then travel at night. Because the weather at night, I mean, look at this. It's stellar. It's just, it's absolutely awesome. There's a deer over there. I'm going to pick up a lot of these sticks, though, and some cattails. Hey. Now, we do need tinder, so these cattails are going to be a welcome sight. Awesome. Awesome. And we'll take that. And guys, I think tonight we're going to be full condition by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. Um, Alright, let's open this lockbox. A fish. Oh, three fish. Four, five. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. What a pleasant surprise. Guys, we're going to have a full stomach and then some now. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? That's crazy, man. I've never seen that many. Wow. Wow. That, wow, that, that's, uh, that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna put that pot up there, and we're just gonna go ahead and light this fire up. Um, before I do that, though, there, yeah, there are some books on the ground. Probably gonna use a book. There's some more matches for ourselves. Frontier Shooting Guide. Let's go ahead and use that. Um, we can use... Oh, I see. Alright, um, Frontier Shooting Guide, where you at? There you are. Use you. Three fish. I can't believe that. That's crazy. Um, we're going to have to leave some food behind. I can't believe I'm saying that. But it's such a good situation now, right? Because we're going to have a full stomach full of fish. And we can actually preserve the canned goods. So we can travel with the canned food without it smelling. So that's really just awesome. Best case scenario right there. Um, Alright, 17 minutes there. Um, I think we're fine on... Fire login. We're good on... um. On energy. We're fine. Completely fine. I'm going to go ahead and take a torch though. So we can go ahead and search this place out a little bit. Um, I'm going to take the scrap metal for now. Oh, there's some arrowheads. Those will come in handy. Any clothing in here? No, nothing. Alright. Okay. Uh, it seems like that's a majority of the loot in here. Not bad. Not bad. How's our food situation? That's, that's some good stuff right there. Awesome. Alright. Gonna wanna tear down... Whoops. I'm gonna break that torch down soon. I think in the meantime, though, I'm gonna... Actually, we don't have anything to break down here. Good. Awesome. Uh, seven minutes for that. Let's go ahead and eat it. It's a small fish, but it's fine. Um, let's go ahead and do the other small fish. 26 minutes. Cool. Um, I'll break that down for 15. Uh, what are we looking at? 10 minutes there. 
Um, yeah, we can do 15 minutes in a minute. Drink up a little bit. Tear down the torch. It's all about finding things to do, right? You gotta find things to do while things are, are cooking. Or while you're waiting on something. Nice. Those are two of the fish gone. So I think we might eat a majority of these. 39 minutes there. What do we have? One fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're probably going to eat probably this one and then the next one. Um, so, no problem with that. I'm going to go ahead and do a 15 minute right here. And then I'm going to do a 15 minute crafting session in my inventory. Brings us up to full temp. That's great. Awesome. And then six minutes on that. Go ahead and eat it. Nice, guys. Yeah, we're going to get a full stomach out of this. Spectacular. Um, all right. Pull a torch off just so I can take a peek around. Uh, that's 37. So we can break down two crates in that time. I believe there's a crate over here. Let's take that down. All right. And if we crouch, there's a crate right here. Perfect. Excellent. More firewood, the better, right? Uh, rocking 65 pounds. That's awesome. Go ahead and eat that. And then we're going to have a fish for the morning. So let's go ahead and cook that. Um, 39 minutes. I'm going to take a few torches off, and I think we're going to go to bed. Um, so 38. Probably going to take a torch off of that. Put it out. 36, 34. Let's go ahead and just put on one stick just so we know this will finish. Perfect. All right, and it's time for bed. Um, go ahead and drink fully. Perfect. And I think we are going to put in... What time is it? Go ahead and put in eight hours. All right. Good condition recovery tonight. Let's go ahead and see how much we have when we wake up. Oh, look at that. And all the, the risks are healed as well. Awesome. And that's cooked. About a thousand calories there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put one of those on there. Perfect. Awesome. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw the scrap metal, I think. We can carry the scrap metal, actually. I forgot to put down the pelts, though, of course. Of course I did. We'll throw them down. Alright. Drink some more water. And I just want to take a peek at the weather outside. Uh, maybe it's frightful. Maybe it's not. Oh, and not too bad. Not too bad. Five degrees, though. Um, I do think we're going to want to sleep until the afternoon. Not too late now, because we're going to try to get back to Timberwolf Mountain today. Um, I think that's going to be the plan. So we are losing in here. That's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and sleep for three hours. And then once we wake up, we'll eat and then go, I think, is the plan. Oh, unless it's a blizzard. Then we have no choice but to stay. That. Oh, so good. Nice. We'll take that up to half. All right, who's out there? Anyone? Oh, it's a blizzard. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's a problem. So that's going to delay our progress a little bit. Probably not going to make it back to Timberwolf. I think what we're going to want to do, however, is make it to Homesteaders Respite. Um, if you watch the Hardcore Deadman series, you know that we have a little cheeky way of getting up there, but we can do it. So I think we're probably going to spend the night there, I think. That sounds like a plan. Still windy outside, that's fine. Um, that's 45 minutes to tear that down. Um, could do that, could do that. I think we actually will do that. Awesome. Condition's looking better than ever. Let's go ahead and check our journal. So first day we got down to 37, and that was when we got into the gold mine. Very good. Um, let's see, Angler's Den, so we made it here at 33%, up to 62, and today we're up to 87. Very nice. That's what you like to see. I'm hearing the wind calming. Is that true, or is that just a falsity? Ooh, it is true. Look at that, huh? Cool. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and grab this, because we're going to want to make 15 minutes worth of a wound dressing. That's going to be pretty important. I'm also going to take these cattails as well. 
Gonna grab the cattail heads for the tinder. Um, yeah, this wind is gonna calm down. If it does calm down substantially, we can probably start making a move. What are we looking at for temp, though? Three degrees? Yeah, probably gonna on wait on that a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, sometimes there can actually be some loot on the outside of this cabin here. Like some flares, usually. Um, doesn't seem it's that case today. That's fine. Um, yeah, Alright, nothing else to see out here, so let's go ahead and get back in. Don't want to be wasting temp for sure for no reason, you know? Um, can we sleep an hour? Nope, not yet. Oh, come on. We're so close. Come on now. Alright, there we go. So once we wake up, let's go ahead and start a fire. And then from there, we'll heat up our teas. Take a peek at the weather outside. And if it's not too bad, we will make a move. Go ahead and do that. We'll start it up. All right, um, do a stack of papers this time. We're going to be picking up a ton of cattails on the way. Um, no, no reason to be holding on to the, uh, to the tinder. All right, 80% chance to start this fire. Let's see if we can grab it first try. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, we'll try again. Books are heavy. I don't mind getting rid of them. Even though I don't think it consumes any of your... Fire starting material, only the tinder it consumes when you fail. So that's that's good. There we go. We got this one in the bag. Excellent. Very nice. All right. Time to drop two teas. I think I'm going to even make one more out of the rose hips. Uh, I'm going to try to save the reishi tea until we get food poisoning. Because um, that's a good resource to have, especially since we don't have any antibiotics. So we're going to want to save that. Um, I'll put two on. Sure. Why not? Anything else we can do? Any other crafting? No. Nope. All right. Drink a little bit. What's going on out here? What's the temp looking like? Um, it's still very cold. Negative 11. All right. Uh, one hour there. Very nice. I'm going to make some more water. I'm actually, wait. Forget that. Hold on. Make it out of the bigger can. There we go. All right. Go ahead and drop that. All right. Now let's go ahead. Actually, tell you what. We could probably use the tomato soup. Yeah, can probably use the tomato soup. Uh, let's actually not use it. We don't have anything to open it with. So we're going to lose calories on it if we open it now, which I don't want to do. Okay. Um, 15 minutes, sure. Alright, all those are hot. 11 minutes on that, we'll do another 15. Now the sun is beginning to set. I don't like kind of waiting in here for too much longer. Okay, I'm going to deem this as, as good weather to travel in. So let's go ahead and, and take the chance. Nice, got that off. Alright, one, two, three. Let's not forget the pelts. Um, one last final scan. Nothing else going on here. Looks like we got everything. Let's head out. Angler's Den served us well. But it's time for... Time for new prospects. 15 in the windshade. Not bad. Not bad. Now there is usually some stuff over there. Um, but I think we're going to pass. I think we're going to keep the eye on the prize. Which is going to be heading over to the Homesteader's Respite. Now that walk is usually... That's going to usually be a ankle snapping journey. <laughs> so we have plenty of bandages though. I'm not feeling too upset about it if that happens to us. Seven rocks, that's good. I just want enough to lure these two away. Yeah, these wolves can be tricky. These wolves can definitely be tricky. All right, I'm breaking out the crouch walk real quick. Just to get around these guys. Um, hopefully we can get close enough to where we can throw the rock and then lead them somewhere else. I'm going to do it right up here, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead. Drop that. Equip that. Let's throw that that way. And equip our torch. feel much safer with this. 
Uh, I'm not going to go until I see the other one. Okay, perfect. All right. I'm going to go ahead and toss the other rock that way. All right, guys. Okay, um, drop this torch. Throw one that way. It's the ultimate game of chess here. Alright guys, we're almost in the clear. Yeah man, I mean this crouch walk, you know. It has its moments, definitely has its moments. Um, it's definitely really good. Really good for getting around quickly. Um, but I understand it's not maybe the most pleasant to watch. Uh, let's go ahead and drink one of these while we can. Just trying to keep the temperature up as long as we can. I don't think I'm going to drink another tea. Just because we're pretty close to our destination. And losing some condition over the course of the day is okay. It's not like Dead Man where we have a strict, uh, strict schedule by any means. Alright. It's getting pretty foggy. Wouldn't surprise me if this snow stops and we just start getting some fog coming in. Alright. Now sometimes the moose can be up here. The moose can sometimes spawn by the river, so we'll have to keep watch. Lots of cattails though. No shortage there. To be honest, right now, going forward, I think keeping the well-fed bonus could benefit us pretty well. Fairly well. So we might want to do that. Might want to do that. Um, especially if we decide to summit Timberwolf Mountain. Which uh, could be in the cards. Alright, there's going to be two wolves right there. Just so we so we know. Going out this side. Um, even if we get their attention, it shouldn't be a big deal. Just because uh, we're going to be heading up the side of this anyway. So they can't get us. Alright, take both of those. Take both of those. I'll take this stick as well. I love sticks. Alright. Over here. After this one, we'll drop the torch. Let's drop it here. Take the 38. We'll light that one up. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a little more than I need. I'm going to make two bandages just in case we get jumped. Yeah, those are wolves over there playing around. Now, I don't remember wolves ever used to spawn here. Um, when I used to run by Ash Canyon in my previous runs years ago, um, I don't recall these wolves being here. But I guess things change. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and throw another rock that way just so that wolf... That came close to us. Can back off a bit. I don't think he heard it. I think all it did was just lure this other one over here. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, so up here we go. Um, if you guys don't know how to get to Homesteaders Respite, here's a little tutorial here, huh? Um, so you want to get as high up as you can, preferably not this low. There we go. Want to get up as high up as you can. You gotta cut across now. Um, if you feel like you're a little low on the terrain, then that means you probably are. Um, you want to at least get onto this platform here. Can I reset my sprain wrist here? No, I can't. Oh, there we go. Alright. Well, either way, we're going to be sleeping it off anyway. But yeah, try to reset your sprain risk as many times as you can, because it'll prevent things like that happening again. Alright. Now, I do feel like we're a little bit low. We might have to backtrack a little bit, but I think we'll make it. I think we'll make it. There we go. Awesome. Now, all we got to do is just go right over this way. Alright, Salvation is right here. There we go. And there you have it. Up at Homesteaders Respite. Um, I don't think there's any... 
there. Sometimes there's a corpse I can spawn there with some decent stuff on it, but not today. Not today. Um, do we want to start a fire, right? Want to start a fire. I think the Homesteaders Respite is one of the warmer places in Ash Canyon. One of the warmer structures, so I don't know if that's going to be necessary. Um, we'll see, though. We do have enough food, though, to sleep the night away again, which is amazing. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we do start a fire, right? We do have a lot of energy to burn. And it's only, you know, it's only sunset and we have more than three quarters of our energy left. So might be worth starting a fire, trying to uh, stay up as long as we can. Now I'm just going to go back this way. Yeah, I'm going to go back this way. Just so we can grab these. Now, there is a rope climb here. I'm really tempted to deploy the rope. I think we might do that, especially if we leave later in the day tomorrow. We can climb down there, get some of our energy out of the system, and get to Timberwolf Mountain all tired, and we can sleep the night away there. A good plan, I think. Um, Yeah, the fishing hut's down there. We're going to want to hit that on the way out. And we're here. All right. Oh, look at that, guys. A Mackinac. And combat pants. Oh my gosh. And look at all of this stuff for us. Amazing. More matches. How many matches does this bring us up to? 12, 24, 36, plus 20, which is 36, 46, 56, minus 1 because it's 19. That brings us to 55 matches just about, I believe, if my math is correct. More food as well. And another book. More firewood. Oh, this place is great, huh? This place is amazing. Any more clothing items? No. But we do have plenty on us. We're at 40 degrees right now. I'm going to go ahead and... I'll just pick up the rope right now. Let's see what's in here. Anything? I love a sewing kit. Ah, nothing. All right. Well, guys, that was very... That was amazing, actually. That was... We got a Mackinac and combat pants. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's pretty good. That is pretty good. I don't know if I want to start the fire right now. I think I'm just going to put it out. And we'll just take stock of our inventory. I just want to drink fully as well. All right. Um, yeah, let's take stock. 18 coal. Very good. Um, let's go ahead and just wear those clothes that we found. That's great. Um, we do want some... Oh, yeah, that's good, too. Put that on. I'm going to go ahead and tear that down. 30 minutes for one piece. Um, actually, I'm not going to tear that down. I'm just going to drop it. Nice. Awesome. Love to see it. Um, yeah, I would have loved a sewing kit. That way we could repair some of this stuff and make some gloves and a hat for ourselves because that is where that frostbite risk is going to come into play eventually. But for now, it does look okay. Um, I am going to tear down some of the cloth. Let's Oh, let's put down the pelts first. I'm not going to forget it this time. We'll get a big curing session in with them. I'm going to go ahead and tear down some of this stuff. All right. Could even read an hour if we want. Could read an hour. Um, I think that'll be beneficial to us. And I think we're going to want to read. The cooking book first. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, not healthy enough. Do I have to... Uh... Let's see. Oh, it's because of the pain, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and take some painkillers. Painkillers usually accumulate anyway. So, I'm not really too mad about taking them. Oh, I have to use a bandage as well. Come on now. Come on now. All right. Can I read now, please? Yes, I can. Let's do it. Um, should We should have enough time on the clock. Yeah, we do. Excellent. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and make even more bandages now because I don't like to be caught with only one on me. Get into a wolf struggle. That could be bad news. Um, I'm also going to make one of those. I think just one for now is good. I'll keep the other. Keep the other one on me. Uh, where's the other one? Yeah. I'll keep it on me. And let's do some rose hip prep. Because why not, right? 15 minutes. We have a lot of energy to burn. So. May as well. Great. Awesome. What a good spot to be in, guys. What a good spot to be in. Um, Did we have anything we could do in the inventory? Anything at all? I'll probably keep that to start lighting fires with. Two arrowheads is great. I think I probably want to go outside though and deploy the um, deploy the mountaineering rope.
So let's go ahead and do that. That'll burn some can or burn some uh, energy for us. Let's try to sprint it a little bit. Get some get some exercise in, right? Some cardio never hurt. Back in my day, I used to be a cross country runner. I miss those days. I miss those days. Running was so fun to me. So fun. Hopefully it's as fun as it is to me as it is to this character. Oh, let's not get too cold. Come on. We'll run it back. Oop. Falling down there would be a bad, bad uh, situation. All right, great. 41 degrees in here now. Very nice. Oh, that Mackinac is so good, man. So good. All right. Um... Now, we could eat some things. We could eat some things before they become too bad to eat on us. Um, I believe that could be good to eat. Right there. Not sure if I want to eat it right now, though, because we don't really have an any antibiotics to cure that stuff. We do have a reishi tea. We do have a reishi, but I think I'm going to hold on to it. Probably going to hold on to it. Now, I'm going to make the judgment and say that we have enough food here to survive on well-fed bonus. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to just start eating as much as we can to get that well-fed up. What I will do, though, is eat that. Great. And I'll also eat that as well. Excellent. All right. Now the water's looking a little bit on the lower side, but that's something we can figure out in the morning. Um, I'd love to tear down some more curtains if there's any over here. Oh, there's a the metal container on the floor. We're looking down. There we go. Get that down. Two more cloth. Yeah, having a lot of cloth going into Timberwolf Mountain is never a bad thing, you know? Never a bad thing. Come on. Tell you what. Let's stop uh, Stop messing around here. Alright, there's the curtain right there. Look at me. I'm so cheap. I, I try to get around just by using the two clicks of the lantern. Hey, you know what? It's it's how it be in this game, right? All right, is there any curtain back there? I don't think so. All right, let's turn this lantern on for for good now. All right, so we're gonna tear down those. I wouldn't mind tearing down that as well. Anything in there? Nope. All right. Okay, great. I'm gonna yes, two crates right here. We'll start with this one. Tear that down. Cool. And then we'll go ahead with this one. And there's curtains up here somewhere, so we gotta go ahead and find them. Oh, found them. That was quick. Nice. Tear them down. Get that good stuff going. Nice. And we'll do this one as well. Now, I don't want to get too overloaded with cloth, because I know it is pretty easy to do that. It looks like we're already above 77 pounds, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to, uh... To figure out what to leave behind. I bet these two cans can probably go first, though. Um, let's go ahead and refuel that. Awesome. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and just grab the other curtains. Now, we can always leave cloth behind. Especially in this area. We know where it is. We can always come back for it if we're in the area. But we're just trying to burn some energy right now anyway. Alright. Alright. Um, there are the jeans. I could probably just tear down the jeans. That's a 30-minute teardown. It's not too efficient, but it's fine. All right. Go ahead and put that out. There's one more curtain over here I want to get. There we go. Tear down that, and then let's go ahead and tear down our jeans. There we are. Tear them down. And then from here, I think we can probably go to sleep now. All right, 0.9 gallons on us. That's not terrible. I'd like to have more. Yeah, 0 0.9. That's fine, though. All right, let's go ahead and put in six hours of sleep. Now, we do have our pelts down, so they are curing, which is fantastic. Um, now, I think it's just on the hunt for the hacksaw, basically. I think that's what it's going to uh, come down to, the hacksaw. Got to start cutting down some maples and some birch saplings. Get that bow going. That'd be good. Be really good. All right, there is a drawer over here somewhere. Can I still access that? Oh, just saw it. Come on. Oh, we'll felt too far down. Come on. The bed's right there. All right, fine. Fine. 
You got me. I'll use the lantern. Alright, it's right there. There we are. Let's use this to go ahead and put some stuff away, huh? Scrap metal, put away. Um, I'll probably put that away. I can pick up more on the way. No big deal there. Um, put that tinder away. We're rocking cattail heads. That's always good. I'm actually going to probably just put eight away. We're going to pick up more along the way. Um, I'll drop a band-aid. Sure. I always like having two on me. No less, no more. Crampons are good. We're wearing all of this stuff, so that's great. The food, I'm going to keep it all. Um, nothing here I really want to get rid of. The marine flare, I mean, we're not really going to be dealing with timber wolves anytime soon. We will in the future, for sure. Probably going to be making it to Blackrock or Bleak Inlet sometime within the first, you know, two to three hundred days. So that could be, you know, useful in the future, but not right now. But we'll still keep it on us. Um, I'd love to get some reading done. Can I get some reading done? I'd love to drop a book. Too dark. Really. Pass a little time. There we go. Now it's not too dark. Got four hours going. Yeah, it's a little insane, but I mean... Oh, almost got it. Almost got it. Alright. That's fine. I have to have a little fun with it sometimes. You know? A little fun with it. Alright, what I'm going to say we do is... Since we lost the full stomach we had... I'm going to say we continue saving the food until we get into Timberwolf Mountain... Um, that way we ensure that we're not going to run out. Even though I, I know pretty dang well that we won't run out. Um, just in case. Just in case. We can leave some food back at the Mountaineer's Hut. It's a more accessible location than this place is. Um, Alright. So. How's the weather looking outside? How's it looking? We looking good? If it's sunny and clear, I kind of want to move. Oh, it's... Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer, though, for the day to pass gonna do that um starting a fire is never a bad thing go ahead and do that we start a fire we'll go ahead and probably use i think i'm gonna use yeah a cedar let's go ahead and do that 60 percent, not the greatest but not the best or not the greatest but not the worst rather my gosh <laughs> get my words twisted here all right come on now there we have it. Very nice. I'll probably tear this torch down, though. Alright, cool. Um, I'm probably just going to say we use some sort of... Just reishis. Yep, just reishis. Or, oh my gosh, rose hips. I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. We'll use just rose hips because the reishis are good for the food poisoning that we could get. So it's always good to be prepared on that front. Go ahead and tear that down. We're going to want a torch travel too, I think. Get a little bit of a warmth bonus going. Excellent. Uh, five minutes, sure. Take the pot back. I actually do want to make a little bit of water, to be honest, while we have 40 minutes on the fire. Let's go do that. And I'll drop this. Perfect. I'll pick that up and I'll drop this as well. Come on. There we go. And we'll just drop it right here on the rug. Awesome. It's a nice cozy cabin, huh? Nice and cozy. You know, it's so, uh, it's so long dark. So long dark. I love it. I love it. That's that. that those are good. We'll shake them one more time just to ensure. Great. Five minutes. Fifteen there. All right, let's go ahead and pick that up. 0.77 water. That's not bad. Um, I'm actually... Oh, we were too late with it. Um, let me just go outside and take a peek, see what we're dealing with. Um, I might want to travel in this. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. Go do that. All right, those cans can stay there. We're going to take our pelts back because forgetting them would be kind of unfortunate. And on to Timberwolf Mountain we go. Let's head out. I'm going to want to search out this fishing hut as well. But that's along the way. We can do that. Come on now. Just be careful. Please. Please, character. There we go. No sprain. That's how it's done. Pick up some of those. 76 pounds, guys. So we're traveling rather heavy going into uh, 
Timberwolf Mountain, but we're going to be dropping a lot of this stuff, I think, at the Mountaineer's Hut. Um, and then from there, we'll start escalating down the map. The world map, that is. Um, I still have to decide where we want to forge some coal. I'll pass on the tinder. But we could forge in... Oh, what is this? Oh, really? Um, okay. Oh, that's going to be near the... Um, that's going to be near the back entrance of the mine. Well, that's too bad. Um, we'll have to get that at some point when we're back here. But as I was saying, I know, I think last episode, I confirmed that we're probably going to go forge at Forlorn Muskeg. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. Not a bad idea. But Desolation Point is also a pretty, um, pretty appealing place to forge. Um, it actually gives you a reason to go to Desolation Point, you know? Um, so I think just out of the interest of hitting it while we're over there, I think Desolation Point is going to be the place we go and forage. Is that a wolf right there? I'm not sure. We'll find out in a minute. There are going to be wolves, though, over that way. So I'm going to say maybe we can try to chase a deer into one. Ooh, just like that. Yeah, let's do that. You deer read my mind. So if we can get a deer kill with a wolf... I'm going to say we could maybe try to harvest the deer. It is a beautiful sunny day right now. So maybe it's worth it. Might be worth it. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. It'd be nice to have a mag lens early on in Interloper. Could save a few matches, but we've got so many matches right now. I think we're fine. No need to worry. Um, Are the wolves over here? Oh, they sure are. They sure are. Is that wolf eating right now? No, he's not. He faked me out. Now, I thought the deer ran over here, but I, I suppose not. So that's fine. Hey, wolves. How are you? Beautiful creatures, I must say. Majestic. I'm going to wait for them to finish their song and dance, and I'm going to throw a rock in that direction. Try to get them to go over there and leave me alone. Always preferred. His buddy did not hear that, though. That's fine. I'd love to reset my sprain risk. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this. Throw one all the way over there. Hopefully we don't get an ankle sprain. That would be unfortunate. There we go. Just going to break out the crouch walk a little bit. Whether it works or not. Oh! He saw us. Alright. Well, I, I gotta say, it's a good place to be seen because we're just heading up towards uh, that way and he's going to lose us anyway. Can we call a timeout, sir? I just want to grab these cattails. Tell you what, I'll give you that one. We can share. I thought that was another wolf right there. That would have scared me very badly. Alright. Just keep on the move on here. Oh, look at all these cattails we could have got. Unfortunately, though, we're going to be pressed for time. Because my man over here thinks it's important to chase us. Whoops. Come on now. Hi, wolf. We can figure things out, you know. Tell you what, next time I kill something, you can get half of my profits. That's that's pretty significant, huh? Half of the profits? Is that appealing to you, sir? He's going for the cattails. I don't yeah. I don't blame you, sir. Cattails are great. Um, we'll see you later. Thing is, we'll probably see him later too. Um if we come back to Ash Canyon, uh I bet you he's still gonna be there. Wolf, you can relax now, it's fine. All right, we're fine now anyway. He's gonna lose us. He'll be losing us. Man, how scary would it be if he just comes sprinting through this at us? That would be uh, an experience. Is he still on his way? He is on his way. Goodbye, sir. I'll see you uh, later, I suppose. All right, guys, out of Ash Canyon and into Timberwolf Mountain. Nice place to be. 
Um, I even think we're probably... Yeah, let's do this. Do that. I'll harvest some of you as well. Great. Toss this torch down. Replace it soon. We still have that 100% torch on us, which is great. Where did we find that torch? Obviously, it was Ash Canyon, but where? Um, I think it was... Was it in the gold mine? I think it, I tempted to say it was before the gold mine. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, I know where it was. I think it was where the wolf carcass was in that cave. I believe. I, I'd be willing to bet a good amount of my college tuition on it. <laughs> I think it's there. I don't know, though. I'll have to rewatch because I'm curious now. All right, guys. Timberwolf Mountain. Wow. Look at this place, huh? What a place. What a place. Um... Obviously, going to Mountaineer's Hut is going to be a priority of ours. We'll probably stop by the fishing hut on the lake just to see what's going on there. Um, and we could probably relax at Timberwolf Mountain for a day or two. Um, there's really no huge rush. And if there's a hacksaw there especially, then that's, you know, the big ticket item that I'm going to want to, uh, I'm going to want to have. So if we do get a hacksaw there, we can go around, unlock some of the crates... And I think we could even find the bedroll there at the three-way cave if we want to look that far. Which, you know, the hacksaw's there. You might as well. You might as well, right? We're not going to be back until we probably are done forging. And by that point, it'll probably be closer to day 15, maybe? Day 15? That sounds about right. All right, now I know the bear's going to be out and about, so it's just a question of where is he. Preferably like to take the high road up here, but that's okay. Now, is there like a little way up here I could go? It does look like it. Let's try to unlock a new route here, see if we can, uh, if we can be that guy. Yeah, nope. Nothing there. If anything, I'll probably experiment on an offline run, see if we can get up there. But anyway. I'm gonna try to take this higher road here. Look at this, guys. Oh, my gosh. I mean, the clear skies of beginning days of Interloper. It's amazing. Oh, there's the bear. Hey, sir. How's it going? I'm just going to go sneak right over here and take your rose hips. I'm going to take his rose hips. Let's see. I'm not going to take that one. He can have that one. Hopefully he didn't see me or hear me. No, nope, he's walking away. Cool. Enjoy your day, sir. It's a lovely day. Look at him enjoying the day. Ah, I told you. Good job, sir. Take it easy. We'll be back for you probably sometime uh, in the future. Your days are limited. We'll grab these reishis, though, or else our days might be limited. Nice. Um, I'll even go around. We're hijacking his stuff, you know? Good. Ah, uh, the elusive bear cave. Awesome, guys. If we could find a mag lens in the mountaineer's hut, that would be pretty cool. That would be very good, especially, you know, these sunny early interloper days. Oh my gosh, look at this. Incredible weather. 23 degrees. I hate to say it, but it's not going to be like this for long. So we got to keep moving while we can. While we got weather like this, you know? Awesome. Just awesome stuff. There's the mighty mountain up there. Big piece of rock. Very big piece of rock. Um, I wonder how high that mountain is. Or how tall it is. I've actually read in some places that... Um, I thought we were being followed. I could have swore I heard some pitter-patter. Just like the wolves. But anyway. Yeah, I've read somewhere that Peak Cave in Hushed River Valley is actually slightly taller than this mountain here. Timberwolf Mountain, come relative to sea level. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but... Either way, super cool. Super cool. I'd be willing to do a test on that, but again, I don't really know how you would test that. Leave it to the experts, I guess. 
Um, I'm going to try to pick up all the sticks we can. Um, even if we have to leave a few sticks at the uh, Mountaineer's Hut here, we can do that. Well within the uh, logicness to do that. Now, there are some rabbits here as well. I wouldn't mind getting those. Wouldn't mind getting those at all. Alright, are we going to have a frostbite risk coming in pretty soon? Pretty soon. 3% on the hypothermia. Not bad. My gosh, it's so quiet out here. It's almost too quiet, you know what I mean? It's almost too quiet. Take those. Go ahead, work my way this way. Hey, once we pick up the rabbit, though, once we kill him, everyone across the map is going to be coming to our party. And they are not invited. Not invited. Um, we're gonna want to pick up more rocks, though, right? Is that correct? That is correct. Do that. Making my way, or making my way out of my way to pick up that stick, I guess. There's a deer out there. Some more cattails here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave the cattails. Um, we do have a solid amount on us. How many do we have? Twenty-eight. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I hate to be greedy, but I almost want a little bit more, to be honest. So let's just go ahead and loot this whole marsh out. Um, I'll dump some of the cattail heads back at the hut there. Not that hut. The Mountaineer's hut. Um, and yeah. Life's looking good for us, guys. It's looking up. It's a good start. It's a really good start. Ash Canyon, as I said last episode, it's a really, it can be a really tricky start for, for most people. Um, so we're, we're lucky we got out pretty uh relatively unscathed if you will so it's good it's really good now we're in timberwolf mountain um we'll take a take a day or two to relax in the mountaineer's hut we'll think about our next move what we want to do whether we want to climb the mountain oh shoot that's an out torch right there oh just barely just barely oof yeah we should have lost that torch i wasn't even paying attention to it all right, there's two rabbits over there. And there's a wolf over there. All right. I'm really tempted to pass on the rabbits, but if we get the rabbits, we can harvest their uh we can harvest their guts and their pelts and we can get some uh get some progress going on that front. So that could be good. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to walk this way. 89 pounds. Very heavy. Very heavy. I might just kill him and then drop him. And we can come back to them once we're at a lighter weight. But I am going to pick up these. I'm going to keep picking them up. I never have enough cattails, unless you're in Forlorn Muskeg. That region is unhinged with the amount of cattails. It's incredible. If there was no food in this world but cattails, you would survive there. Easily. Alright, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. That's fine. I'll be back for these rabbits. I think I'm going to kill them first, though, and then we'll be back for them. Alright, pick up one more rock. So we can be sure. Um, This deer might end up selling our plan here. I'd love to uh, get this one right here. Don't run, please, because you'll spook the rabbits. Um. Okay, I call hacks on that. That rabbit is hacking. That rabbit is 100% hacking. Sir. Sir. Come back here. Put away your hacks. Dude's got like automatic shield or something. That was a direct hit. I don't know why he didn't get stunned. That's just not a rock. That's a rock. Hi, rabbit. Um. Okay. There we go. I got you. Your hacks didn't work this time. There you go. All right, cool. Um, I'm, again, I'm going to come back for these. Um, could get some birch bark going. That's a good opportunity right there. Do the crouch walk so these rabbits don't detect us. Now, where did you go, sir? I think you went up here somewhere. He had to have went up here. I don't even know where he is. Pick up these sticks. We're losing a bit of condition, but it's all going to be something we're going to recover soon. Where did his buddy go? 
Wow, dude was so scared, he just completely ran away. He left the chat. Wow. It's okay. Um, interesting, I guess. Hey. Oh, he's out on the ice. Okay. Alright, he's entered the server again. I'm gonna say, bro was so scared, he, he rage quit. <laughs> we got him, though. Let's, uh, let's try to, uh, plan this out here. Hi, little rabbit. Oh, you're so cute. I low-key want this rabbit as a pet, but unfortunately, uh, survival does come first. Um, is that deer gonna run right into the wolf? I have a feeling he is. Oh, he's gonna run right into us. Come back here! I got you! Alright. That's fine. I, I should have mounted him. Oh, and that torch is... This torch is gonna go out. Yeah, there's no real reason to, uh... Panic about that. Alright, that's fine. Fine. You got me. Alright, so we are looking at what? Yeah, 93 pounds. Way above, uh... Way above the encumbrance limit. That's fine, though. We'll dip into the Mountaineer's Hut. We'll store some stuff away. Um, we'll probably come back and grab these rabbits. Grab any last cattails and the fishing hut. Um, and then we'll probably call it an episode. I know it's, it's pretty long. It's pretty long episodes, but I think that's going to be the general theme of, um, you know, of this series, you know, hour, hour and a half episodes. Probably going to have to be it if we want to get to 500 days in an efficient-ish manner. So, I bet you guys don't have a problem with that, though. Um, I, I honestly love watching longer playthroughs. Um, I think it's one of the most relaxing things, most therapeutic things you can do, really, is just watch a nice, relaxing playthrough. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys, uh, Enjoy it so far. More sticks. Yes, let's go. All right. Lots of firewood to be had here. We just need to get a tool to harvest it. And here we are. The Mountaineer's Hut. Awesome place to be. What is that right there? Oh, that's going to be some firewood. Gotcha. Mountaineer's Hut. Oh, so great to be here. So great to be here. I mean, journal will take... More matches. That's good. That makes me feel a little bit better about uh, wasting another one if we want to start a fire. Very good. Hey, Maglens. There we go, guys. Awesome. And a ski jacket. Oh, my gosh. They're handing it to us. Absolutely handing it to us. Let's wear that. Awesome. Now, it's not completely warm in here. We still have to keep note of that. Where's this at? Chasm Cave. That's going to be right outside Chasm Cave. Perfect. But as I said, we still have to keep note of uh, of the temperature in here, because we are not completely warm. So, uh, there is a blizzard in the morning. We are going to have to make a fire. That's just what it's going to be. 55 sticks. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and drop 45 of them. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and drop the firewood over here. Get ourselves nice and organized. 37 uh, cattails. Cattail heads, rather. Um, a summit soda. I'll take that. And a book. You love to see it. You really love to see it. All right. I'm going to put away 30 of these. No reason to carry more than that. Actually, I'm going to put away probably five more. Um, The arrowheads are good. I'm going to keep them with us. Before we do anything, though, let's go ahead and drop these pelts. Get them cured ASAP. Perfect. Um, Yes. Continue dropping stuff. 26 cloth. I think I'm going to probably put away 16. Keep 10 on us. That's a good start. Um, reclaimed wood can also go over here. I'm going to drop six of those. Great. Um, search this drawer. Great. I'm going to grab that. Okay. For now, let's put the arrowheads away. Um, anything else I want to put in this drawer? doesn't really seem like too much stuff wants to go away. I definitely want to keep that on us. I think I'm probably going to drop some of the worst food here. So some of the really low condition stuff like that. And probably that. Those two I'm probably just going to let chill here. We'll eat them once we get a high cooking, cooking level. Alright. I'm just going to keep these two on me then. Really no reason to put them in there if it's just two of them. Let's go ahead and break this one down. And I am going to want to go out and grab those rabbits. Because those rabbits are going to be mighty important. Um, And I think from now on we can maybe try to get this... Get this well-fed bonus going. Um, I think it'd, it'd benefit us, definitely. Alright, though. Um, let's just drop some more stuff, because I do want to have enough... Enough room to carry these. 
Uh, drop all the books because they're heavy. Drop that because it's a pound. Drop these because they're half a pound. All right. 55 pounds. That should be enough to grab these two rabbits. So let's go ahead and do it. I'll probably take a stroll down here as well and grab some cattails. I don't think that wolf will see me. He's far enough away. Any food down here at all? I know sometimes, yeah, there's a plastic container. Nothing in it. All right. Well, I'll take the cattails then. I'm still going to take the cattail heads. I'll just dump them off uh, back at the hut once we get back. So I'm going to go out to this fishing hut first. We'll see what it has to offer. Now, notice how there's only one wolf here. I think that's because of the interloper spawning. I think interloper is more focused on kind of less wildlife and more of harsh weather conditions. But you can see right now, I mean, we've had anything but. It's been super chill, which is good, which is good. I'll 100% take that, and I'll take that. Oh, my gosh. And I saw a sewing kit up there as well. So that's frostbite bird for our head. Sewing kit, amazing. Another scrawled message um, to cave system. Mental hint. Chasm cave. That's going to be outside of your clearing, I believe. So we'll have to go ahead and peek at that once we're up there. I don't know if it's going to be soon or if it's going to be a little later in the playthrough, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, Nothing else here. No heavy hammer either. Heavy hammer is going to be pretty crucial. That's also kind of why I want to go to Desolation Point. It's going to give us more time to scout out a heavy hammer if one can spawn. Um, because we got to go through Pleasant Valley. If Pleasant Valley doesn't have a heavy hammer, we'll go through Coastal Highway. And, you know, etc. If Highway doesn't have a hammer, then we go to Desolation Point. If Desolation Point doesn't have a hammer, then, oh well, we'll just backtrack to uh, Forlorn Muskeg. But if Forlorn Muskeg doesn't have a hammer, then I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say at that point, but we'll worry about it when we get there, right? All right, I'm going to take these rabbit carcasses back with us. And let's go ahead and sprint back. Um, I might just drop them right here to grab these. Cool. Let's go ahead and go. This guy might see us. That's okay. Some more sticks. I'm going to stop for them. More sticks. I'm going to keep stopping for them. That wolf is making his way over here very fast, but we'll stop him in his tracks. Great. Now let's pick these back up. Let's move them over here. All right. Um, it's late day. Energy's looking good for it being late day. Let's pick up everything else that we have here. Awesome. These are going to keep carrying. We'll keep them here front and center so we know where they are and how they're doing. All right. Without any further talking, I love to get distracted. Go ahead and light this up. All right. Um, actually, might even do a few sticks as well. No need to use the book, right? If we have sticks on us. And plenty of sticks for that matter. And plenty of cattails. So there's no reason why we shouldn't be getting this fire with a stick. All right. That's fine. I got like, what? Nine more chances on us. Whoops. There we go. Come on, stick. You can do it. Now, I was really tempted there to use a birch bark to light it up, but I think we should save our birch bark for birch bark tea in case we get into any dilemma. Um, you know, be good to have on us for sure. Nice. There we go. All right. So, um, put that on. I'm going to keep all the coal on me as much as I can take a cedar. I'm going to take another cedar, a fur. All right. No hacksaw though, guys. No hacksaw. So that almost makes me want to leave Timberwolf Mountain sooner rather than later. You know? Because if we did find a hacksaw, then I'd be more inclined to go ahead and fry and loot the containers. But since there's none... Don't know how that's going to work out for us. So we might just have to move on to Pleasant Valley. And hope for the best there. 29 minutes. Great. 44 minutes for that. Yikes. Um, I think what I'm going to do right now is go out and try to go that way and look for more rabbits. 
Yeah, let's go for it. I know there's a rabbit spawn over here. So it's not going to hurt us if we want to try to uh, to do that. What might hurt us, though, is this wolf. Wolf might get us, but it's fine. Should have dropped a lot of this stuff, though. Any rabbits over here, or are we just... Oh, there's one. Pick up these sticks. There's one. One's better than none, right? All right. Oh, and there's two. Well, that's isn't that just perfect, huh? Now, we got to be careful of the moose over here. We don't want to uh, get in a wrestling match with him. Good snipe. Nice. Let's drop him. Um, I'm actually going to go back and pick up this other rock because rocks are important. Especially this early when we don't have anything to kill animals with. Um, rocks are going to be that deterrent that we need. And go ahead and kill him too. Thank you, rabbits, for your service, as always. And we'll pick him up and we'll run with him. Go ahead and get the torch out, just in case the wolf wants to uh, make himself present. That's the case we'll deal with him, but... I'd hope not. No, he's coming over, I see him. Alright, I'm gonna drop the rabbits there. I think we're a little too heavy to be dealing with uh, a wolf right now. I will go out of my way to pick up these sticks, though. All right, even more sticks. I like it. Okay, that wolf is gonna be. Oh, he's right there. He's not. He wasn't that close. I probably could have ran a little bit farther with the rabbits, but that's okay. Um, our our rabbit was probably gonna burn out over here anyway. So there we go. We'll eat that. Or right, getting our hey cooking too. Um, what a nice surprise. That's good. Make some more water in that. All right, hour 22. Let's go ahead and do that for 44 minutes. Should be enough to get that water boiled right away. Awesome. Um, I'll even do another batch as well. Ooh, sounds like a blizzard. It is, indeed. Okay. Well, thank God we got enough firewood here, huh? I'll throw on a fur. Um, we might have to keep this fire going through the night, but it's not too bad. Of a task, we have plenty of firewood over here and plenty of sticks to go around, so not too worried about it. Okay. Um, that rabbit's gonna stay there. I can harvest these for 40 minutes each. That's fine. I'm gonna try to go out and maybe grab what we need, which are those rabbits. Um, let's just drop all of the water because water's heavy. I'll drop all the food right now. All right, let's go try to get these rabbits here. Harsh conditions. Very harsh. As a blizzard would be here. Alright. Run back with them. Yeah, it's really crucial just to run with rabbits while being just below or just being encumbered because trying to run with rabbits when you're like 95 pounds never works out. Never works out. Alright. 24 minutes? Yes, let's do that. Um, yep, I'll put that on as well. And I'll even go ahead and put that on too. Alright. So are you... You're the one that I just harvested, right? No, you're not. You are. We'll put you here. We'll pick you up. I'm gonna pick up all these other things too. I tend to like to forget that these are on the ground. Great. That's cooked. Let's go ahead and eat that. Nice. Nice. Uh, 19 minutes and 13 minutes. We'll do that one for 15. Gotta check how much time is on the fire. Um, okay. We've got time, basically. Alright. 16 minutes. Alright, and our energy's looking good. So it looks like we will be able to sleep through the night, which is amazing. Um... Yeah, I'll go ahead and make some more water as well. 
Cool. All right. And we do have rabbits to tear down. So that's great. Um, we can go ahead and put those pellets down. We can even do the guts as well. I think getting those guts going are going to be good. However, I do think we're going to be leaving before those guts are done. That might not be the best thing to do. Maybe tear down the pelts first. Either way, we'll figure it out. Nice. And I think this is where our well-fed bonus is going to begin. I'm 19 till done. Go ahead and do that. Um, 15. 30 minutes there. 30 on that. Let's go ahead and get these pelts off of them. The faster we can make um, a rabbit skin hat and some gloves, the better. For sure. All right. Probably going to have to uh, to sleep, though, pretty soon. All right, we'll put this other one here as well. Nice and organized. 29% on the wolf pelt. That's amazing. Good stuff. All right, so this rabbit's completely done. Um, we'll go ahead and just put him on the bed here. All right. 22 minutes on the fire. Okay. Take that off. All right. Any fir wood? Let's just keep all this wood on us. All right, we can sleep for three hours. I think three hours is a good start. All right. Go ahead and do that. Three hours. Yeah, it's a blizzard, and we don't have the warmest clothing by any means, so I think we're just going to want to keep this fire going for as long as we can. That way we know for sure we don't die. That would be very unfortunate. All right, we got 40 minutes on that. I think I'm going to do 40 minutes on this rabbit. Cool. Um, I'll put on another cedar, another reclaimed. Let's go ahead and do the other 40 minutes on this. And then we'll do another 40 minutes on the rabbit. We'll drop the pelts and then we'll sleep through, um, through the night. Do that. Excellent. Very nice. Let's just do a check again. Made sure we got all of these. I think we did. I'm going to carry all of them with us. Um, I'm going to put another one there. Let's pick up some more sticks. Nice even 30. Nice. Okay. And I'm just going to dump the rabbit pelts there. Very good. Very nice. Love to see it. And we'll even put these rabbits here as well. I hate to say it, but almost as decoration, because decoration is hard to come by in the long dark when you're doing what we're doing, which is interloper. There we go. All right. Three hours on the fire. Maybe I'll extend it to four hours. Yes, four hours. Great. Drink a little bit of that. Excellent. And four hours put away. Very nice. Now, I was tempted to do longer stretches of sleeping but we're going to be recovering condition as we go on so nothing really to worry about here oh look at that look at this that is super cool that is just super super cool i love that scenery in this game is just incredible okay i wouldn't be opposed to doing kind of an hour at a time maybe getting some of our water to start boiling up um, could probably go ahead and start doing that soon here. Do it now. Uh, 30 minutes. Perfect. Sleep an hour. Alright, we're gonna wake up just in time for that small tin can to be done. There we go. Nice. Um, let's do it one more time, huh? One more time. But then I think we'll let the fire go out. Man, we ju we've just barely got that hour. We've got an hour and three minutes on the fire, so. It's another blizzard. Oh my gosh. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to just keep this going then. Because it seems to be working pretty well for us. All right, let's sleep another hour. I'm trying to save calories, you know? Nice. Alright, 58 till boiled, so that's going to be another hour, believe it or not. 
All right, one more hour, guys. One more hour. And then hopefully this blizzard breaks, but we'll see. Nice and nice. 2.81, that works for me. Great. 25 minutes left on this. I think I just want to do... Hmm. All right, tell you what, let's tear down this crate. I'm gonna wanna eat soon though. Eat very soon. Uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and eat that. I'd love to find a can opener before we eat anything else, but it is what it is. Whatever we have to do, we gotta do. All right, I'm gonna do that for 15 minutes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and probably eat the sardines. It's very risky, but there we go. All right. Put in one reclaimed. Drink a little bit. Check the fire again. An hour 13. Perfect. Let's sleep an hour to save the game. And that's going to do it for this episode. Wow. I mean, tell you what. The amount of progress we made and the blizzard died down for next episode. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, really good stuff, guys. We made such great progress. Um, we'll come back to a little time on the fire so we can decide what we want to do, whether we want to summit Timberwolf Mountain or go to Pleasant Valley. I'm kind of leaning towards the Pleasant Valley option um, just because I know we can survive in Pleasant Valley. Um, we have no bedroll to go up to Timberwolf Mountain, so that's a, one thing to consider. And no hacksaw either, so it might not be worth it. Um, and yeah, so if you guys made it this far, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're looking forward to the next episode. And I hope to see you all in the next episode.